As of today, face coverings and social distancing will no longer be required for fully vaccinated people in Salt Lake County facilities. Salt Lake County is the latest to lift its mask mandate for fully vaccinated Utahns. If you haven't gotten your COVID shot, you're asked to continue wearing a face mask in all county owned buildings. Here's a look at the other places where masks will no longer be required. Salt Lake City owned buildings, state owned facilities and multiple stores, including Walmart and Trader Joe's. While this is welcome news for the most of us, it's raising new fears for some Utahns. I'm worried that a lot of places that do have mask mandates in place will lift them. We're talking about those who are medically compromised and rely on masks to help keep them safe. One Utah family now wonders if summer programs or other activities will even be an option. COVID impact specialist Lad Egan's live tonight with their story. Lad. Yeah, those with compromised immune systems, especially those who can't get vaccinated, say they want a seat at the table when it comes to discussions about lifting mask requirements. I feel like Utah has forgotten about kids that are high risk. Jessica Piper's 10 year old son Riker has type one diabetes. Even the normal flu can make him very sick and illnesses can take months to recover from. And he's already been at a disadvantage. He's been home the entire year. Their doctor advised that Riker stay home from school this year. They were looking at enrolling him in summer programs, but with masks going away in many settings, they are now rethinking that. If they're lifting it the last week of school, they're probably not going to require it for the summer program as well. So he can't attend. Beyond school-based summer programs. He's been wanting to do things like go to the aquarium or go to the zoo or go to Lagoon. Um, now that the risk is a lot lower. They are also watching to see what other attractions and businesses decide about masks and if they'll have to forgo those activities as well. If those types of businesses lift the mask requirement, um, that's just like another thing that we're going to have to consider and decide whether or not it's safe. The Pipers are certainly hope that things continue to improve here in Utah, but that there can be more concern about protecting those that are at high risk. And Dini, looking uh, further into the future, you know, there's still a big question mark about what next school year looks like for children with compromised immune systems.